Sis, sis was just like very pushy, very, very pushy. She's like, well, let's go ahead and reserve the, the apartment now. And I'm like, well, why would I do that? I said, um, no, I'm going to take the paperwork so that um, I can make an informed decision. She said, well, did I miss anything? Like, why, why wouldn't you want to go ahead and book it? Like, um, if you don't book it today, I'm not sure if it's going to be here. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm still going to take the paperwork. So she just gave me a printout. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel where you can get your dose of MJ. So this is episode four of my series of searching for an apartment here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, this episode, you're gonna see me get a little testy with one of the apartments um, because they were just doing a lot, a lot. And it was like very disrespectful. And I'm gonna list the names and prices and we're gonna just do it like that. This isn't the last one. The next episode will be the last one in this series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it thus far. Um, be sure to watch the first three episodes in this series so that you can see all of the places, the names, the prices, um, and everything that I've seen. The, now again, please remember the prices that I put up there were when I actually saw the apartment. I did see that some of the prices have changed due to inflation and being that there's a lot of transplants coming to Charlotte, you know, prices go up, demand, demand is high, supply is low. So I will see you guys in this video.
right, guys. So I just left Cortland Whitehall here in South Charlotte. It's a very, 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 very nice place. Um, the only thing is apartments.com. I, I'm gonna write y'all a review because what y'all are not about to do is keep sending me places where I'm not gonna be paying them more than what I said I'm gonna pay them. And I already said give or take, like, okay, base rent gonna be 13 something. So that ultimately you'll be paying like 14 something a month because they, you got the other stuff, the other amenities and all the other good stuff. But these places have been like 14 to 16 hundred a month and I'm like you jump three hundred dollars and I know these prices change every day but you jump three hundred dollars nah so this place the base rent is fourteen forty one for a fifteen month lease um for a twelve month it was like sixteen seventeen um very nice very clean um it was just very nice and very clean. It's, I, I just didn't get the feel that it was my home. Um, and you have to listen to your, your intuition about that because then you're going to be in situations where you're be like, oh. Yesterday, I didn't give you guys an update on the district. So I went to the district. That was the last one I went to yesterday. Um, the pri the base rent was like 12 something. I was like, ooh, okay, price-wise, I'm with it. But... It just didn't feel like it was my home. It was very spacious. I loved it. But then I went on the reviews and people like just kept saying like the people don't care about you or whatever. Um I, I don't really pay attention to reviews like that, but I do read them just to make sure I'm good. I need to head to this next place though. The next place we're going to is Pavilion Village. So Let's get on the road for that. Um, because I was definitely 20 minutes late to this one. I really didn't want to get out that hotel bed, y'all. I was so tired. I am tired. I know you can hear it in my voice. I haven't eaten. Um, and it's 20 miles away. It's an hour, baby. 30 minutes away. All right. Yeah, so I'm leaving South Charlotte. I don't think South Charlotte is for me. I more so think I want to be in the northern area or like closer to uptown. So let's go get this money.
y'all i am at i don't even know where we are greenway at mallard creek y'all let me tell y'all they had me sitting there and i waited for like 30 minutes to even be seen 15 minutes 20 20 minutes before i was gonna leave so they had me sitting there for 15 y'all the lady was like, okay, I'm going to show you where your um, actual apartment would be online, on their website, where they told you to, told me to check. It says their one bedrooms are going for 12 something. She said, okay, well, due to inflation, you need to think about the range being 13 to 15. I said, oh, okay. Sis said... <clears throat> Sis, sis was just like very pushy very very pushy she's like well let's go ahead and reserve the the apartment now and i'm like well why would i do that i said um no i'm going to take the paperwork so that um i can make an informed decision she said well did i miss anything like why why wouldn't you want to go ahead and book it like um if you don't book it today i'm not sure if it's going to be here i'm like okay yeah i'm still going to take the paperwork so she just gave me a printout bitch the stuff on i'm sorry the stuff on your website says four hundred dollars less than what you're trying to tell me mama ain't raised no goddamn gonna fool and i'm definitely an educated black person so what you're not about to do is get over on me i said okay thank you i'll just take the paperwork and then she wanted to take forever to get my id back girl don't play with me don't play with me like she really just she really she really tried me y'all she really tried me so i'm gonna go to my next one it's right across the street she was telling she was just oh she oh she just irritated my spirit and i was like yeah no this is this is a hell no this this will be a hell no so i'm gonna i didn't even get to tour y'all they didn't have anything for me to tour because they're at 98 percent capacity my thing is if you want people to come if you got people booking tours where are you showing them you could have shown me something you showed me nothing and then you still want me to reserve it and you're right y'all know what y'all know what, what color she was y'all know y'all know she won't like me though that's what i'm telling you she was not at she was not like me i'll see y'all in a minute
All right, guys, so I'm at um, Ainsley Falls in South Charlotte. I said I wasn't going to do no more, but I had this last one. Um, the last apartment I just left was pretty cool. It was built in 97, though, so I'm technically like three years older than it. So um, they, they renovated it, but it still gives me that old vibe. Why am I not focused? It still gives me that old vibe. So, it's not my favorite. But, I, I told the lady, I said, after the one where the lady was just, like, pressuring me the whole time, I just, I, mm -mm. I'm ready to go get some food. What is going on? I'm ready to get some food and call it a day and go home. But, I have two more showings. I have this one, Ainsley Falls, and I have another one. I think it's called Redford or something like that. But I will bring you guys inside. It doesn't start till 3 and it's 2.30 something. So I'm going to go in there and see what she can do, with me, do me now. But I will see you guys in a few minutes.
Yeah. All right, so I just went on a tour at Ainsley Falls. I like the apartment itself. I looked up the rating. The rating was a three out of five. Um, let me turn my air on. It's warm. It's only 64 degrees outside, but it's cold. I mean, hot in this car. Um, the apartment was very spacious, as you could see. Uh. It was just very spacious and I liked it. It had two decks, it had an extra room, and it was going for like 13 something. But they were charging you $50 to use the washing machine and dryer. Like, let me see. Why wouldn't that just be, why, why would that be broken, broken down? You could have just put that in there. Um, valet is 27, pest control is five, which is higher than most of the other places. The other places was like two, $3. Um, washing washing machine and dryer fee is $55 pet fee. I don't have a pet renters insurance I would have my own water sewage is based on usage electric is with Duke and then cable and internet um, Would be spectrum or AT&T um, The girl that was doing my tour she Is new to the area so she really couldn't answer any questions that I had um she didn't show me any of the amenities i saw them but she didn't walk me around through them so it's kind of just like all right well you don't want me to stay here like you're just doing this tour out of obligation i don't know if i'm just over it from earlier or what this old lady is backing out the wrong way I have one more. I'll see y'all later. All right, guys. So we're here at my last appointment. She said I could come in earlier. So um, it is Radborn Lake Apartments. So we're about to see what that's hitting on. Um, it looks like they're all two-story apartment complexes so I'm, that's not a lot of stairs if i do end up on the first i mean it's the top floor but you know what we in charlotte so they have a level called terrace level which is the first level or basement so we'll see we'll see let's go inside
All right, guys. So I'm here at um, my last tour. I like this one and I liked another one. So I probably won't tell you guys the. I won't show you guys those two, but I went to enough for y'all. So just know I went through hell and high water today. I only saw one today that I kind of liked. I won't give you guys a name. And then um, I liked one from yesterday. Like, I really liked it. And I was comparing everything to that one. So I probably will go with that one. Even though it only has a three-star rating. Um, But yeah, so... We'll see. We'll see, y'all. Like, May is coming quick. It really is. By the time y'all see this, I'm going to be already, like, signed a lease prayerfully. Um, yeah, but I'm about to get on the road and head back to Virginia where home is. So, maybe I'll see my lines just today. But it's 4.30 and I'm tired. So, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, baby.